Let's take a couple minutes to do adding time practice problems. You see at the top it says, add the following times. And now here we get 9.30 plus 2 hours and 36 minutes. So I'm going to set it up just like we're used to seeing. 9.30 plus 2 hours 36 minutes. What does that equal? 0 plus 6 is 6. 3 and 3 is 6. Put our colon. 9, 10, 11. 11 hours and 66 minutes. Well, 66 minutes is odd, right? There's more than an hour in there. There's an hour and 6 minutes. So, what we do is we add an hour to here, and we take 60 away, right? Because 66 minutes is an hour and 6 minutes. So, if we take 60 away, we get 6 minutes. Put one more hour over here, that's 12 hours and 6 minutes, and the answers are at the bottom. And I double-checked it, and we have that right. Let's look at the next one. Remember, we're adding all these. 12, 45, plus 4 hours and 16 minutes. Now, 5 and 6 is 11. Carry that 1. 4, 5, 6, 61 minutes. 16 hours and 61 minutes. Again, look at what we ran into. 61, that's an hour and one minute. So we're just going to say we're going to take 60. Now we go one minute left. Put an hour on there. 1701, we're going to check it at the bottom. And it's correct. Let's add this one. 1359. 1359 plus 36 minutes. So 9 and 6 is 5. Carry the 1. What well, 9 and 6 is 15. So we put a 5. Carry the 1 over. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 95 minutes. And that 13. So now, look at that. We have 1 hour and 35 minutes in that 95 minutes, right? That 95 represents 1 hour and 35 minutes. So if we take 60 away from 95 and turn it to an hour, we get 35 left over. And we stick the hour over here in the hours section, we get 1435. And we check the answer. Good, 1435. And now let's let's look at this. 19 hours, 0 minutes, and 12 hours and 30 minutes. 12 hours, 30 minutes. What do we get? 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 3 is 3. 30 minutes. 19 and 2 is 11. Carry the 1. Yeah. 31 hours and 30 minutes. Now, very interesting. Interesting here, right? 31 hours. There's only 24 hours in a day. So what we do is we take 24 hours away from 34. And 24 minus 31 is 7. Right? So we're 7 hours into the next day. Because when this hits... When this hit 24, you know, essentially went 24 and went back to zero. And then we had seven left over, so it went up to seven, right? So 31 minus 24 is seven. We're seven hours and 30 minutes into the next day. Now, let's look at the next one. 22 hours, 30 minutes, plus... 1 hour, 36 minutes. Let's add these together. 0 and 6 is 6. 3 and 3 is 6. 22 plus 1 is 23. So we're at 23 hours and 66 minutes. And here's where the interesting part happens. 66 minutes is 1 hour and 6 minutes, right? So we have 6 minutes plus 1 hour over here. That turns that into 24 hours. But what is 24 hours? That's into the next day. So what happens, we subtract 24 hours to that to really get, you know, we subtract a whole day because we're out of that day. And we're into the next day. So what happens, 2406 turns into zero, six minutes into the next 
day. Right? This is like saying midnight. So we're six minutes past midnight. And again, the answers are at the bottom, so you can check. These are the solutions, and the answers are at the bottom.